Hello everybody, it's Blue Jay Artist, and woo, I'm not sick anymore. I'm so happy I'm not sick anymore. Um, and I'm back from my trip, and, well, I've been back from my trip for a while now, but I haven't been able to do any rants, because I've been trying to get animation done, and all that stuff that you probably don't want to hear me blab out about. Um, but today, we are going to be doing my favorite couples rant, um, because... I feel, some people feel, I think, they are being really kind of rude in the comments. But I guess they kind of are telling the truth that I don't, I really focus on more negative, uh, like least favorite or worst or, you know, all that stuff. But today I will be doing my favorite couples. I did my, like, you know, on underdeveloped relationships and stuff. But today I'm going to be doing my favorite couples. Um, I narrowed it down to six. It was hard. Um, I do have some runner-ups, uh, runner-ups, though. So, um, I have, um, how many do I have here? I have two runner-ups. Um, so, first one, the first runner-up is, um, Gray Stripe and Silver Stream. This used to be my OTP, like, when I first started to read Warriors. I love this couple, but as I went on, I found... Like all these all these couples that I have on my list, um, Gray X Silver isn't strong enough to it's not better than these couples in my opinion. But it is a cute relationship. It's at least a tiny bit developed. I know it's not the most developed couple, but at least it has some development. Um let's see my second one here. Um oh gosh. I think that was actually only my, my only, um, hold on. I think that was actually my only runner-up. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Blue Jay forgot something. Um, my second runner-up is, um, Bracken X Sorrel. Um, oh my god, I love this couple. And the thing about it, it's just, they they don't fight. They're just a normal couple, and they just have kits, and it's just... They're, they're what a typical family would look like if Warriors wasn't so screwed up as it is. Like, let's say... but Because, well, like, think about it. All the couples, all the, like, forbidden couples and stuff, those are really screwed up relationships. Like, the kids die, or one of the mates die, or basically like that, or in any couple in Warriors, that always happens. But Bracken X Oral, until the ultimate guide... Okay, plug your ears, plug your ears. This is exactly like the Ravenpaw rant. Cover your ears right now unless you want me to shatter your heart into a million pieces and you can never get back together. Okay. I'm just going to say it. Sorrel Tail is dead. She's dead. She, she died from wounds from the last hope. Basically, she got too many wounds and she like had too much blood loss or something. And she died while Bramble Star was going to the moon pool. She, she has kids. She has kids who she needs to take care of. I mean, I know they're old enough that they don't like milk or anything, but they're, she just, I, she was such a great character. How could you just kill her off? And she had kids. It, you know what? I'm getting off track. But I do like Bracken X Sorrel. I think it's very cute. Um, okay, so here is my real list. Okay, we're going from, uh, one will be the best, six will be like, uh, you know, we're going to six, this is my top six, and I'm going to start at six. Sorry, that was a stupid explanation. Um, my first, number six is Gray Wing and Turtle Tail. You probably have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, or you're saying, wait, they're not canon. Yeah, I read Thunder Rising, they're not canon. Well... Oh, sorry, I mean, I read the Sun trailer, not canon. Well, in Thunder Rising, they are. So, unless you want to be spoiled for Thunder... You know what? Warrior Rants have spoilers. Get over it. Even if you were to talk about the first book, you would have to spoil stuff, because there's always spoilers. Okay? Whatever I'm going to say in any of my rants, it is spoiler alert. Okay, moving on. Um, anyway, but in Thunder Rising, uh, 
Turtle Tail was uh, not raped, but really kind of she. It's awkward. Like I didn't even know why they put it in this book. I thought Warriors was supposed to be for younger children, but basically, like she wanted a mate, so she just was mates with him, and then he was really mad at her all the time, and he abused like Bumble and her, and it was just a bad relationship in general. So then she goes to Grey Wing, and all the people who live on the moor. And it's like, I want to go back to live with you. And um, she, I just, I wanted Grey Wing and Turtle Tail to be a couple in the first book. But stupid Storm had to waltz in and be like, oh, I'm so pretty. Look at me, Grey Wing. And no, oh, oh, I love you, Storm. God, Grey Wing, Turtle Tail has always been there for you. And Storm never even loved you. Can't you just get, <sighs> even mention Thunder Rising and I, I don't like him in a storm. It's just, blah. I don't like storm in general. I'll probably make a storm rant. I know I've been saying I'm going to make a storm rant, but I actually think I am today. Um, anyway, but the, just the how in Thunder Rising, how he supported her and her children, even though they weren't his, he still acted as a father, and he is a great father. Oh, my gosh. Grey Wang is such a gentle and caring father. And they just have a good relationship because I feel if you're going to be mates most likely you're going to have kids and you have to handle being parents and Grey Wing and Turtle Tail are good parents and that's what a good relationship really is if you're going to start a family because the parents are like the core to the family. I mean, the children are going to be raised terribly, if you know what I mean, because that's happened multiple times in Warriors and I'm happy it was avoided this time. Not like stupid Clear, clear Sky who... Just, I'm not even going to get started on him. I have a separate rant on him. It's in one of the special rants. Uh, I don't like him. Anyway, but I think that's it on Grey X Turtle. Um, Bumble, number five, Bumble X Dove. This is so cute. This is so much better than Tiger X Dove. You already, you guys already know why I hate it if you um, went to the uh, All About Couples rant. Um, but Bumble X Dove is really cute. And all the way through The Fourth Apprentice, I was just, I wanted to give Bumblestrip a hug because stupid Dovewing, like when they were hanging out together, Dovewing was like, all I could think about was Tiger Heart and his luscious locks of beautiful tiger colored fur. <sighs> Dovewing, there is a perfectly good Tom right in front of you who would care for you and love you and was a definitely a better choice than Tiger Heart because one, he is obnoxious and arrogant and all that stuff, and um, and he's from a different clan. Bumble Stripe is just so the way he tries to get well doesn't she doesn't try to get Dove Wing's attention, but how he just acts around her, and it's just it's really it's a cute couple, and I'm happy that they're together because it's stated on the wiki. That they are mates now, and I hope I get to see their kits in either Bramble Star Storm or um, Dove Wing Silence, or whatever that stupid book is coming out. Um, and that's in on Bubble X Dove. Um, Crooked X Willow, you probably don't know what I'm talking about unless you've read Crooked Star's Promise, which is a very, very sad book. And uh, Crooked Star and Willow Breeze. Uh, Crooked Star, I believe, saved her from a pack of dogs when she was an apprentice. And then they started to be, become friends. And then they slowly started to become, like, they started to love each other. And that is why I like it, because it has... Dove and Bumble would have, would be in this spot, number four spot, if it wasn't for that it wasn't as well developed as Crooked X Willow. And uh, well, Crooked X Willow is really, it's well developed because they start out and that's why also um, why Grey X Silver isn't here, because that, true, Silverstream did save him from drowning, but basically Crooked Star saved her from the dog, but then they became friends, and she looked up to him, and then they started to love each other, and it was just a good, well-structured relationship. That's what I like most about this couple, and that Willow Breeze could see beyond Crooked Star's um, broken jaw, not like his stupid mother. Um... 
And that's what I like. It, it's just well developed and it's really cute. And it's just, yeah, that that's it. Um, number three, Squirrel X Bramble. I can already see the hater comments. Oh, Blue Jay, but they're not really well developed. They fight all the time. And, but that's normal for this couple. That is how Squirrel Fight and Bramble Claw really just, that's their relationship. Don't you have a relationship with one of your friends where it's just you call them idiot all the time and they like, oh, well, you're an idiot too. They, you just joke around with them. That is how Squirrel Flight and Bramble Claw are. That It's just their nature. And I feel they have development because, as a couple, because, you know, she he saw her as this annoying apprentice and then they went on this journey together and he got to know her more. He got to know her, sorry. He got to know her more. But then it kind of went downhill because of the whole hawk frost thing, which was stupid. And then they finally got together. And I just thought that it was a good relation that that took twists and turns, not just like straightforward, oh, I just met you and I love you. <coughs> Fire egg spotted leaf. Um, anyway, and it's just, it's, I was so sad when they broke up because it just, it wasn't, I get Bramble Star didn't, Bramble Claw, whatever, didn't trust her, but you guys are just, it's such a good couple. I'm happy they are mates now again, and I'm happy that they're going to work alongside each other. Um, number two, Holly Leaf and Fallen Leaves. This is everybody, a lot of people like this couple, and, oh, this is number two, if I didn't say that already. Um, but this couple is just... Oh my gosh, it is just so cute, and it actually is well-developed, because, you know, Holly Leaf goes in the tunnels, Fallen Leaves heals her, they start to become friends, he helps her through her, like, n not seeing other people. Oh god, when when that one scene when, um, in Holly Leaf's story, when uh, Holly Leaf was like, oh, Fallen Leaves, I'm lonely, can you sleep by me? And they did, and I was like, eh. And when she had to leave, it was so sad. I just, eh. But then, but then, it was heartbreaking, and the last hope, when he went over to her dead body, and he went, oh, but Holly Leaf, I was supposed to see you again. And, eh. It's just, it's a really cute couple, and it's nice to see that Holly Leaf found somebody that she loves. And it's nice that Fallen Leaves has, because of her, has gone back to being with his, um, tribe mates or whatever. And it, the Aaron's confirmed that they are mates in Star Clan. It is canon. Um, and number one, Half Moon and Jay Feather. I know I've been talking about how, you know, well-developed characters, I mean, well-developed relationships and stuff, I know this isn't as well developed, but this is such a good couple. You don't understand how cute this couple is and how J Feather went from his grumpy exterior to being really caring. And I know I know he's been caring in other situations, but I feel like this had J Feather open up a little bit. And I just that's really um, I, uh. And when he had to leave, and the half moon was like, I'll wait forever, Jay's wing. And excuse me, in the last hope, this was their, this was literally their, what they said to each other. Like, I think he was like saying, Oh, my love, you came. And she was like, Oh, of course I did. And he's like, I'm gonna go heal people now. And she's like, Okay. And I wish they had made their reunitation, reuniting better. I wish there had been some sort of more spark when they reunited. It's just, it was such a cute couple, and it actually was, it wasn't as well developed as the one I list, ones I've listed before, but it's still really a good couple. I just, it's so cute. Um, and that's the end of this rant. There should be more rants up today, so I'll look out for those. Bye.